Hello there guys, James here. This is my usage experience of MIUI 14 for the POCO F1. This is based on Android 11. I will come to it in a bit. Yes, it's a bit striking. It comes with Genos kernel R21 by default, but I changed it to Rockstar kernel. While setting up this ROM, I noticed that there is there was no Google setup, so I had to install all the apps manually. But right after setting up this ROM, what I noticed was that this ROM Unlike other MIUI ROMs felt very smooth right after setting it up. It's a typical MIUI thing that right after you set up the phone it may get, the phone may run very hot, it may be laggy or so on. But this ROM felt very smooth and it felt very responsive for that matter. And it's good to see that even after a week of use this ROM the performance has stayed very consistent. App launch speeds are very good. And the smoothness that I felt when setting up this ROM has been retained all throughout. This ROM is based on MIUI 14 meaning that you get MIUI 14 changes. But I've not noticed much you have a redesigned settings app that stood out as the major change. And then you have your typical MIUI features. The status bar is the uh, you know older style where you have your notifications and your control center like interface. There is a newer version having volume control uh, like the vertical style one which is absent in this. You will also notice the unimportant notifications category where your silent notification goes. MIUI 14 is more like a little bit of a refinement here and there rather than a major evolutionary change. The gaming performance of this ROM was also really good. The phone does allow a fair bit of heating but the gaming performance overall was really good. You also have your MIUI style game mode with all the features. Do not disturb voice changer. I am not sure whether voice changer and all is working. But you do get your floating applications and all that. This ROM was also highly de-bloated. The less number of unwanted applications you have running in the background, the more responsive the ROM will feel. Because you have that headroom where all the necessary apps can run and they have resources. You get the typical MIUI experience with your sidebar, some extra features, a little bit of customization and so on. So those were the positive things. Now I would like to bring up the topic of Android 11. You all know that uh, there are Android 13 ROMs that are stable enough for daily usage. So then why go back to Android 11? The major thing is stability. The general rule of thumb is that you can choose to be on the bleeding edge of things where you try out the latest things but you cannot expect bulletproof stability out of it. On the opposite you can choose to stay on a little bit tried and tested version of something which you know is very reliable. You can argue that this is based on MIUI 14 which has not been tested before which I cannot say no to. Talking about the battery life it has been kind of a middle of the road experience. In fact it was kind of average you know. But the moment I installed Rockstar kernel the battery life improved massively. Currently you can see that I have almost an hour and 52 minutes of screen on time with 73% of battery left. But it's very inconsistent the battery life I am not able to predict whether it's good or bad. That's why I'm putting it in the OK section. Now let me talk about the things that I'm not a fan of. First thing is notification handling in MIUI. Compared to stock ROM it's very bad. You can see that I have the application of my smartwatch running here. Usually in stock Android it would be inside the notification panel but the application icon would not show up on the status bar. It would be inside the notification panel. So that type of notification is called minimize notifications. But here if I long press on the notification, I can either choose to disable all of the application notifications or just change these generic settings. There is no minimize option. Also there is no Google feed integration in the launcher. Neither is there a swipe to invoke Google assistant gesture. You also do not have your Android 12 reachability gesture where you pull the gesture pill and it, the whole screen comes down. One of the things that is in my favor is that this ROM is decrypted by default so changing ROMs is not a hassle. If your ROM is encrypted you have to format your internal storage every time you change ROM. There are two deal breakers for me in this ROM now. One thing that you have to note is that this may be an isolated incident. So if that is the case please do let me know in the comments and please correct me. The first thing is so I play this battle royale game where you talk to your friends while playing. Even in normal custom ROMs, you get this glitch where uh, if you turn on your mic, the person who speaks on the other side, maybe your friend who's on your team, their voice will be overpowering your game voice and your audio controls will become separate. 
but the way to solve it is you just simply unplug your headphones and plug it back in after a couple of seconds but in this rom no matter how much time i waited no matter how much i tried replugging the headphones the voice was still overpowering and it was even louder than in other custom roms so that took away my gaming experience from this rom yes the performance was really good but that experience kind of took away the fun second thing is that i have not rooted this rom you can see that i do not have magisk installed in any other name also but if i open my banking app you will see that it is showing me that i am rooted but in reality i am not even pubg new state thinks that i am rooted and no if you are thinking i do not have developer options enabled so yeah these two bugs are have been really deal breakers for me so that has been it for my experience of using this rom if you have any questions or queries or even if you have some correction or even if you have some things to say about my incident of this rom my bugs that i faced please let me know in the comments and see you guys in the next one